Warden Jared Brooks. Thank you, Warden. I appreciate uh, you uh, facilitating this hearing for us. Yes, sir. Uh, Cody, you're here for a revocation hearing. Do you have a revocation questionnaire in front of you? Yes, sir. Is all the information on that questionnaire correct? Yes, sir. Is that your signature at the bottom of that question there? Yes, sir. It's got a signature now. Okay. And you're going to date it as of today? Date it today. All right. Tomorrow, 23rd. Warren, would, would you be a witness? Now, Mr. Johnson, you're here this morning to have a revocation theory because you've been accused of violating the conditions of your parole. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Did you have legal representation at your preliminary hearing? Don't have legal representation, uh, representation now. Come out now? No, at your preliminary hearing. No, sir. Do you want legal representation? For this hearing? No, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. You want to proceed without an attorney? I didn't hear none of that. Right. You want to proceed without an attorney? I want to continue without an attorney? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. The parole board is having this revocation hearing because you've been accused of violating the conditions of your parole. And I'm going to read the violations. You have an option to be guilty, guilty with a statement, not guilty, not guilty with a statement. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Condition number three. You violated this condition of parole as evident by a warrant of scrutiny that was issued on January 16, 2023. Your transfer to Mississippi was denied and your whereabouts were unknown until the time of your arrest in Mississippi on April 15, 2023. How do you believe? Not guilty. Not guilty with a statement? Yes, sir. I would like to give a statement. That is the only violation you have, Mr. Johnson. I have been assigned your case. So give me your statement on violating to absconding to the state of Mississippi, and you were arrested four months later in Mississippi. Yes, sir. I was released from prison over here at Madison Parish, June 1st of 2022. If I, uh, I, I did my interstate compact the same day, I, was, mm -hmm. I went to Hattiesburg and reported to Hattiesburg, Forest County, Mississippi. And my interstate compact, it was accepted from my parole officer over there. So mm -hmm. I reported every month for like four months. I think it was up to like October or uh, September or something. My parole officer took down the May I disturb you? Now, you were released from Madison County on June 1st, 2022. And you proceeded to Hattiesburg, Mississippi to see your parole officer. No, I went to the parole officer in Madison Parish first, and he did my interstate compact. Okay, so you left that out. You 
Yes, sir. He filed my interstate compact and I said, what do I do now? He said, go to Hattiesburg and report to your parole officer down there. And he fetched my interstate compact down. Okay, now, Mr. Johnson, how can an interstate compact be submitted on one day and be approved the same day? I don't think it was approved. Did your, did your law officer give you a travel permit to go to Hattiesburg? Yes, sir. Okay. And you are probation in Mississippi also? I couldn't hear that. I couldn't hear you. Were well, you on supervision in Mississippi also? Yes, sir. Parole. Okay. So at this stage, you are parole in two states, Louisiana and Mississippi. Yes, sir. And you had a travel permit to be in Mississippi from the Louisiana parole office. Yes, sir. Continue. Okay, when I reported to my probation officer, June 1st, my parole officer, June 1st, 2022, and, you know, they said, continue to report. She gave me a calendar with the days that I report every month, you know, it was like middle of the month. So I started reporting every month for like four months. And then she told me I was through over there. My, my sentence was run concurrent. So I was through, I thought, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You were through with your sentence, but you weren't through with your supervision, right? Are you, you, were, you, you were off of supervision in the state of Mississippi. Uh, my sentence was run concurrent with my Mississippi sentence. Okay. And what was your full term date? Uh, uh, my full term date in Louisiana? Yes. Uh, was. September 2nd, 2025. Right, right. And when did your full term sentence in Mississippi expire? I want to say October 22. Okay. So you were, you were in jail in Louisiana, got out of jail, and you wanted to finish up your business in Mississippi, so you got to travel permit you're going to close out to Mississippi Street. Am I correct? Well, I have nowhere to stay over here. I was just passing through when what I called. What, what I'm saying is you want to close out your supervision in Mississippi. Right, Mississippi and Louisiana. Because my so, sentence was run concurrent with my uh, Mississippi sentence. So your, your full term until 2025 in Louisiana. You still have two and a half years of supervision. I'm confused. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. Now, after you saw your parole officer in Mississippi, where did you stay? Uh, 419 Good Luck Road, Petal, Mississippi. And how did you report to your parole officer in Louisiana? Uh, I did not then. She told me my interstate compact was accepted and that I just had to report to her in Mississippi, my parole officer in Mississippi. Yeah, but my, my, my information says that your interstate compact in Mississippi was denied. I don't see how. I don't see how. Instructions. Yeah, he had a full report in the school. He got approved and then they kicked him off. The but they didn't get the transfer with the night. Okay. At what point did your aunt say that you couldn't stay there any longer? Uh, it was after I got off the road, like December or November or something. Yeah, but you were off the road in Mississippi, but you weren't off the road in Louisiana. Maybe my sentence was going to be I don't know. I don't know. Oh, if I was off, 
sentence was longer than the other. One sentence was longer than the other. They could still run concurrent, but that doesn't mean that they both closed on the same day. Your Louisiana case never closed and wouldn't have closed until 9225 until the military date, or until your compliance date, one of the other. And when, when you saw it, it ran concurrent, when Mississippi closed you out, you thought the reason it was closed out also. Because my sentence was run concurrent. Am I, am I correct? Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Johnson? Yes, sir. If you were released today, if you were released today, that's an if, where would you stay? I would stay right here in Madison Parish until I can uh, get my interstate compact. I mean, I got to figure it out. I mean, I don't, I got a place to stay in Madison Parish, Tallulah, but I need to figure it out so I can get back home. I got do, you to... have an do you have an address? Yes, sir. And who are you, you staying with? Uh, just this girl I know, like a friend, it's just a friend, but you know. Have you submitted that address to your parole officer? Uh, the, 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 pro, the address was accepted when I paroled out of Madison Parish. Okay. okay. So, what sentence did you say? Yes, sir. One second, we're looking for you. Yes, sir. And what is the address in Louisville? Uh, 605 Adams Street. Tallulah, Louisiana. That's where he, uh, that is on his certificate. You found it? What page is it? We found your road certificate, and that is the address on that certificate. Yes, sir. Now, your parole until September 2nd, 2025. What are your plans for housing on a permanent basis? I'm going, I'm going to be working, uh, I'm going to go to work with the Matfield, so I have a job, you know, I better to pay for my housing or whatever. You know. So you plan to stay in the state of Louisiana? Right here in Toulouse. Okay. There's an indication in the record that uh, your aunt put you out because she caught you using drugs. What do you say to that? No, see, there's, she ain't telling the whole story. Me, my twin, his girl, my girl, there's a bunch of people staying there. And she found a syringe in my brother's room. So she run everybody off. She run everybody off, you know. Okay. She could just pinpoint that on me, you know. There's numerous people staying here, even okay. including her daughter. So, were you using drugs? Oh, ma'am, I wasn't. Okay. Uh, what was your charge in Mississippi you were on parole for? Or well, were you on probation or parole in Mississippi? Which one? I was on parole in Mississippi. What was that for? Uh, taking away a motor vehicle. Okay. Same kind of charge that you got here. Okay. So how did you end up in in Madison? How did you end up here? Me and my girlfriend was passing through on I twenty coming through, and we broke down and I took somebody's car. And, and, oh, okay. Y'all broke down, then you stole the vehicle. That's how you end up in jail here. Yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. Do you see have a relationship with that girlfriend? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Mr. Johnson, would you like to make a closing statement? Just, yes, sir. Just, I mean, please give me a chance to honor my parole. I promise I'll do it, you know. 
just please give me a chance. I promise I'll do it. I won't let y'all down. I report like I'm supposed to. I stay clean. I do everything I'm supposed to. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Thank you. I lean towards not revoking your supervision because I think you had a misunderstanding and you did understand the concurrent sentence, even though it's concurrent, those sentences ran at at different periods of time in your Mississippi sentence ended sooner than your Louisiana and you thought you were off situation in both states. Yes, sir. Is an honest uh, error, but I want to get probation and parole to revisit at 605 Adam Street in Jaluna, Louisiana. And then once they approve that address again, under my recommendation, you will be released with the stipulation that you abide by all rules and guidelines of your parole supervision. Yes, sir. Thank you. And that you will remain in the state of Louisiana. Does that mean you your group? We have plans of staying in Louisiana, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I can hear you. You keep cutting in and out. I'm sorry. Okay. In and out. The Wi Fi must be uh, bad, either your location or our location. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Is it better than ready to go? Yes. Johnson, my vote is. Do not revoke with the stipulation that your address at 605 Adams Street in Lowell, Louisiana is approved by probation and parole. Once it's approved, you will be released to that address and you will continue supervision. That is my vote. Mr. Freeman. Uh, yeah, the only thing I'd like to have, Mr. Johnson, uh, if you're going to move out of state again, make sure it's approved before you go. Okay, they uh, really shouldn't have let you go without, I understand you had no place to stay here, so they were put in a bond. But, uh, yes, sir. We find temporary housing if we need to next night. But, so, good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Johnson, I, I see your situation differently. Uh, you, you have zero income. You, you, you're still in cars because you don't have any income. Uh, young man, I don't see a lot of work experience. You know, just, just looking at you, I don't see a lot of work experience in you. So my vote is um, in, in lieu of application, you do six months in the transitional work program. And by that, you have ample time then to get your get, get some money and, and get, get your life straight and kind of get out on some more pudding. Because uh, I don't see a lot of family support in your situation. But that is just my vote. Uh, Mr. Johnson, do you have employment waiting on you? Yes, sir. And what, who's in the employment with? I couldn't understand. Like, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. Who will you be employed by? Working. Uh, working with the Matfield. I know. Working where? 
in the mat field over here in Cholula's. It's like they pour concrete for the river. Okay. Oh, I got two boats. Okay. Uh, you have received two boats. You do not revoke one boat in lieu of revocation. Complete a six months transition work program. The decision of the town today is to do not revoke based on what is approved. Uh, residency plan is to move in Louisiana. Thank y'all so much. What's this guy's name? Uh, Toby Johnson? We got the wrong stuff. We got the wrong stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They don't, they don't yeah. They think yeah.